food stalls showcasing traditional Japanese culture cheered up Tokyo's Nihonbashi district as part of a major tourism exposition promoting vacation spots at home and abroad. Organized by Japan Association of Travel Agents and the Japan Travel and Tourism Association, the expo attracted some 1,180 businesses and organizations from 140 countries. Various stalls set up at the event attracted visitors. They were selling souvenirs and local food. Salted lemons made with family-grown lemons and natural salt from Kumamoto attracted many. There were stalls selling traditional Japanese tea. Each prefecture in Japan is known for its local taste. Yamanashi Prefecture's stewed chicken gut attracted many. Even heavy rains fail to deter the festive spirit. The Kanuma Autumn Festival, which is in process of applying for UNESCO, Intangible Cultural Heritage, began amid rains. The annual festival, which is celebrated in October, has over 400 year old history. The festival was derived from praying for a good harvest and appreciating to the god of farming. Hayashi, the Japanese festival music, was held with full of liveliness. Tradition, pride and ardent spirit bring the festival to a climax. It was really, uh, we, we learned a lot of things and we saw different uh, uh, culture of uh, Japan and different uh, performances. So yeah, it was quite interesting. Akita Kanto Festival, which has a history of over 270 years, was also celebrated with full fervor. It was started with the intention of warding off the diseases or the noxious vapors of the summer and praying for harvest. It's also said that the Karan style, formed in the year of the Horeki era after candles, became widely used. The entire Kanto pole is 10 meters long and is handmade with rope. It's hard to imagine what it will turn into. The performer balanced the 50 kilograms kanto on his forehead. It attracted the visitors. Such festivals have truly reflected the rich food and culture of Japan.